Hey dogs, a cool building, isn't it? Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I just work very close by and I came by to show you this fountain right here. This doggy fountain was named after a fellow by the name of William Berksey, who was an architect surveyor and who worked with John Grave Simcoe, who was the first governor of Upper Canada. Um, anyways, the cool thing about this doggy fountain, and it is a doggy fountain, it does contain a cat, but it has a variety of dogs surrounding it and there are 27 dogs in total. There, are, there is also one cat and a dog bone at the very top, which you'll see a little bit later. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this. I thought this was just spectacular and it's so cool that you actually see people come up with their dogs who lick the statues and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, take a look, I hope you enjoy. So there it is guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, this park is kind of nestled, like I said, right in the core of the downtown area, the financial district of the, uh, the downtown area. Um, and uh, getting back to, I wanna show you guys this building here, but hold on, let's take a last look at the fountain. All right, so this building here is what uh, they call a flat iron building. Um, it kind of is in a tri it isn't kind of, it's in a triangular shape. And um, the back is painted. So the way they did it looks really cool. It looks like there's a cloth or a paper uh, effect on it. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, maybe I'll continue to do vlogs like this since uh, I can just basically take a walk on my lunch hour and find lots of other interesting places just like this uh, doggy fountain that you see here. I wonder if there's a cat fountain. Hmm, maybe we should go and explore and see if I can find a cat fountain. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, please hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Ciao for now, dogs.